Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode with me, Link to Kill the Same intro as always, here playing the wonderful Engineer's Life, where I've been slightly busy. I know, it's weird. I have been slightly busy. I want to steal some of these apples so they can grow back. Um, can I stand on you? Is that a thing? Yeah, okay. But yeah, um, I did a little bit of work, not too much, but before I dive in, I want to make sure you guys have a great day. Or had a great day, whatever whatever one suits you. I don't know when y'all watch these videos. Uh, according to YouTube Analytics, it says y'all watch it around noon. So hopefully y'all have a great day ahead of y'all. And uh, yeah, today we have a problem. So last episode we we talked about fixing the power, making it more efficient and stuff like that. Well, here's the problem. None of the stuff works. None of it. Uh, these are not being enough powered. So this doesn't run. We don't have enough power to send upstairs. It's a cluster. It's a cluster. Um, Hopefully we can renovate, uh, fix that today, renovate it, all that good stuff. And the way I think we're going to start off is I'm going to make a couple of these portable generate, port generators. Yeah. And also guys, make sure you update your back. I just updated it and, um, no, think no quests were added. I think they said this was organized better. First steps. Yeah, I think they said they organized this. They they tuned a little bit of stuff. So make sure you update your pack just so you have the newest, greatest things. Um, come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, well we're gonna be running out of a lot of things. So we need a kinetic dynamo. Requires you. Okay, that's fine. We can craft a bunch of this. I have been making some steel off camera. Uh, not a lot though. We don't have a lot. Okay, and it looks like we're gonna need some electrium. So we're gonna craft that up next. And we're gonna need you. And for the time being, I just hooked up the windmill just to give this thing a little bit of a power. So we're just gonna chuck all this in there and that should give us our goodness. Uh, we're going to need some iron cooked up too because we're gonna need some pipes. So I shall throw that in there. But yeah, I think that's gonna be our first step is getting the binary, binary? whatever that is the the first the backup system we're gonna get the backup six the, 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 the backup system running so it's at least efficient and then what we're gonna do after that is probably work on the main hub of the power which is gonna be the diesel diesel right now this is temporary here because apparently this is iron and Boxerite, I think it is. Nope. That has power. <laughs> that has power. That's how you test things in the real world, guys. You just walk up to the power lines and put your hand. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I am not responsible if you do that. All right. So let's see. I want to say you can input the top. But what I want to do is run pipes over here. It's not going to look pretty for now. It's not going to look pretty at all. But it's going to have to work for what we need it for. But once we get it running, this is going to be a whole different thing. Let's just go with it, guys. Oh. <laughs> Your boy's got a plan. I just don't know how I'm gonna work. Why am I making 
plate, copper plate. Okay, I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. Do me. Okay, let's go craft these into wire, which we should be able to do with these. So at least it saves some resources. So there's those. And then I'm thinking three. I don't know if our system can hold three. Um. But we're going to see. Oh, we only need to do one. Okay. I accept. I shall not. A capacitor. Oh, we need the plates. I think this is all we're going to need. Is going on here this is wonky this is groovy what the heck okay well that's good to know you can just right click on these okay so if we place you down the output is on the back and it looks like when you place it down that's the way it's facing and I believe pipe fuel goes into the top Perfect. So the way we're going to have to do this, it's going to look a little wonky. Um, break all that. I believe these things output low voltage, so we're not going to need medium voltage for any of this stuff. This is probably like the worst one to fix this on but if we drop you here and break out that top piece okay and then we just need to get some low voltage stuff which I don't have I don't know why I have lead in my pocket we're just gonna do that for now that's cool and then over here we get off the machine uh, you are, I don't know, what are you, are you low voltage? I believe you're, you're low voltage. This is not low voltage, this is medium voltage. So we're just going to break you. Um, break you. So you're low voltage over here. So this one here, I remember correctly, is for the pump that we have underground. Well, through the wall. We don't need you up there no more, you silly rabbit. And what we're going to do is plop you here and break you out. I guess technically we could just run the pipe in through there. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Um, all right. Let's go see what we can do about stuff. So, throw you in there. We're going to need one more generator. Perfect. And we're going to need a ton of these pipes. This whole episode is just me trying to get everything back online after we broke it last episode. Dumb, thank you. Alright, so... I'm going to break you, and I'm going to break you. 
your input and voltage for some reason. And I am stuck here, so let's break that. There we go. You have seeds in there, so that's good. As of right now, I don't think we're going to need you. Perfect. Your low voltage, perfect. Uh, that water wheel one's going to have a low voltage connector. Perfect. Perfect. And I think what we want to do. Come on, man. Let's just run this along this rooftop. Ceiling, whatever you want to call it. I think this is going to look the best. Okay. Let's grab all these connectors. So I got to remember to hook that up. That is definitely important. That is for the, um, the pump. That I used up. I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks pretty cool. Cool. All right. So this pump's gonna have to do this one. This one here is gonna have to somehow handle all this, and then this one here is gonna have to handle these. This is gonna be interesting, to say the least. But we'll try. All right. So what we're gonna do is have one to kick me in the knee. Perfect. All right. So if we have you. Opposite is input, and then we can do an output here. And I think low voltage is probably all we're going to need. So let's just grab everything we have that's low voltage. I don't think. Oh. Uh, boop. And boop. And then we're going to need a relay to go there to there, here to here, then here to this one, like so. Okay, so the way this is going to work is hopefully the power is going to go in here. All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, wife came home and went to, was too excited. <laughs> So that should power this. I'm hoping that's going to power it a lot, actually. We'll see. And then you, you're going to need some more of these capacitors, which I don't think we have any. Nope. So let's see about crafting some of those up. We're also going to need to see about hooking up the whatchamacallits. Uh, finish the pipe laying. Let's go upstairs. Go to sleep. It must be springtime. A lot of butterflies flying around the game. And we're up. Yeah, if you can't tell, I did some more mining. Gotta get all of the mining in this game. So we need medium voltage capacitors. We're just gonna need the two. Um. Yep, there we go, two of those. And then we're gonna need some connectors, some low voltage connectors. Um, these dudes, perfect. All right, we should have everything now. At least get this system running. And this will supply power to the base, which is kind of what we need. Fine. Let's do this one. This one's easier. Um, all right. So we're going to click you down. We're going to look at you and tell you you're going to be an input. Okay. I am going to have to do something with that. But for now, we're going to say uh, no connection. But we're going to have an output here. And that's an input. Cool. And we're going to have you kind of like so. And connect it here and here. And then 
that should be everything here. Hopefully. Um, it's it doesn't look like it, but it, it is. It, it seems to be working. Okay. So where did I lose the uh, relay? I think I did. Do we have a low voltage relays in our pocket? Yes, we do. Sweet. And then this one here is going to be pretty much like on the other end. I just wish they had a little better connectors than these, to be honest with you. Okay. And then if we shift click here, input, output, and we're going to put the relay here, input, inputs on top of these. Now, this is the one I don't know if this is going to be enough. It might be just too much power. We might have to either upgrade it to medium voltage or what. But that's that. That was pretty much the easiest thing in the world. Do we have a shovel? Um, okay, I'm gonna shovel in a pocket, but it's broke. Let's see what it takes to fix it. Uh, some iron. Cool. Because we're going to dig this stuff up now. We got to dig it up. So, there's downstairs. So, if we start going this way, like so. And remember, this is all pretty much temporarily and we're actually just gonna punch a hole through there I don't know if there's a cheaty way to get pipes through walls kind of like you can do the low voltage stuff maybe y'all can let me know when it comes down below if that's a thing that we could do but I'm gonna keep this as low as possible Okay, we're gonna have to make some more of these crap. Crap, crap, crap. Ba ba ba. My wife's losing her mind in the other room. I think she's talking to the dog, but I'm not too sure. That seems to be a hole there. <laughs> And I seem to have fallen. But that was that was pretty awesome. Almost got close. Um, and now she's vacuuming. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of this hole. Baby doll's yelling at her. Stop cleaning, Mom. Oh, she might be blaming the mess I made in the kitchen on the dogs. <laughs> I replaced the, the uh, fluorescent bulbs with uh, LED bulbs, and I made a big mess of dust everywhere. <laughs> that might be what she's complaining about in there. All right. Oh, I'm probably going to need that dirt, but we're going to also need a lever. And while that works, it's magic. Um, doo -doo -doo. I hope that one is the only one I'm questioning. I'm afraid that might just break. But like I said, we just have to see. Um. The other thing is we need to make the fluid um, router, router, fluid router. Okay. Let's see if those 
those are done. Pretty close. Um, boop. Just do that. And then we'll just make one of these. Okay. And we'll convert these all into these. Flow it to the router. That's fine. We'll do it in here. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need a bucket of each item. Because I want to make it a way this stuff doesn't go wrong. If that makes sense. So what I'm thinking here is break you, drop you, grab a bucket of each. And then we play the guessing game. So we want the blue, this blue, we want to diesel. So filters, I don't understand. Okay. Don't know. Hold our respect. I guess we just yellow it and hope that works. I feel sorry for future me when I have to move all this. Is there a way to wirelessly transfer fluids? Is the question I have. We have not got that far in the back yet. Okay. And then the lever. If we slap a lever here, it should output. And we should hear something going on in the basement. Maybe. Oh, don't tell me these things gotta have a redstone. Dude. Uh, let's read the book. I don't remember. Uh, simple machines. No, it's gonna be under generators and power generation. Nope. A diesel, thermatic generator, wireless. This is gasoline fueled engine. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We're going accept fuel by simply right clicking with a bucket. Gasoline or other fuels can also be piped in from above. The power output is during the back. Connectors are not needed. Applying a redstone signal will halt generation. Sneak right clicking on the generator will pick up, preserving all stored power. Okay. So redstone signal halts. I don't like things that don't have like Um, which may call it. Like, 
Where did you get power from? I guess it was working? I guess. I don't know. I'm guessing it was working. This thing just... It's gotta be working, right? Because these are all full. And this thing seems to be working too. I'm guessing it's working. I guess the only other thing we could do, they like super quiet if they are. That's what's making me think it's not working. Uh, sleeping bag, let's go to sleep. I hope, I hope this fixes the problems. Get a bucket in my hand. Um, like, I'm only assuming you can do this. Because there is a hole there. So I'm assuming you can. sure we do have all this hooked up, which I think we do. Um, yeah, I just don't hear it, which is making me think it's not working. But I don't know. Tank. The only thing I can think of is maybe a tank or some sort. Or we can just right click on the uh, thing. Yeah, sorry guys, this video is going a little longer than I wanted to, but eh. It's got to be done, right? Alright, let me just grab you. We can right click generator. If the generator starts, it means it's not getting power. I mean fuel. And if it's not getting fuel, then I just have to play around with it all up. So it's probably something simple. Things are saying empty for some reason. It should work because we are applying a redstone signal to the doohickey. now of uh, be uh, simply right clicking with a bucket so by simply right clicking with a bucket gasoline or other fuels can also be piped in from above power is output directly through medium voltage needed applying of redstone wait connectors are not needed <gasps> oh that's kind of the problem too. Okay. Okay, we're stuck. Now, I'm assuming it's getting fuel. And that's why it doesn't let me put that in there. But I forgot about this. So I am the dum dum for this. This ain't gonna work. This is definitely not gonna work. Because you can just go straight to here to into here. So what I mean is if we it looks so much neater the the way I had it. So 
So if we did something like that and just made this the input, input connector, grab the wire, boop, boop. And, and again, we might be getting sound, like these might be running, but I do have all my sounds turned down really low. So there is that. Um, This is why y'all watch me, right? Because I F up everything. There we go. So we go there to there to there to there. Okay. And then we need a voltage checker. It's full. And we know it's full because it's coming straight from here. Now I would think this should run. Because it can't go back in there. I don't know. But in a nutshell, that's what we got to do. We just got to rewire these things one by one. But for now, guys, I think we're going to call that an episode. Hopefully, you learned a little bit. And uh, give this stuff a shot. And, I mean, it's free fuel. So if we did something like this, and just go boop, boop. There you go, it's working. Yeah. I don't know why this just shows zero, but this is definitely working because it has an input of 256. So we know it's working. And everything's got power. So I call that a success. Um. As for me doing work off camera, I will go back to doing some. I don't think you can use that. I wish you could, but I don't think that works that way. Because it's terracotta. Where's my copper? Yeah, that doesn't work. That sucks. Cool. And we're just going to do the same thing to this one over here. Um, I think I did this last time too. Last time I played around with these generators, I forgot about the whole don't output like that. You don't need connectors thing. That is a thing. So let's just make sure if you're playing along. Where did my capacitor go? I wish I had a magnet, to be honest with you. There we go. I think I grabbed it. Nope. All right. Well, I lost the capacitor. That's not the greatest thing. I wonder if it hit the uh, power line and just broke. Sad link. Sad link. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Oh, well, oh, no, I got it. I got it. Nailed it. It was on top of that block. Okay. There we go. And we shall do something like so. Back off. <laughs> and we should see this go up. Oh. There you go. 256 means these are running. They're just super quiet. So perfect. Yeah, these are definitely working now. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And then this is not on. This looks like it's building up fuel. It is. And I thought you could just click this on here, but maybe not. Nope. Okay. I just have to go throw it in the thing. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. We have. I'll.
backup system working. But let's see what we can do from there. So I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, guys, stay safe. Peace.